Okay, the next thing we're going to do is align our drivetrain. So we're going to align our rear derailleur so it's perfectly set up with our cogs. And then we're going to set our limit screws for the uh, high and low limit screws. So the uh, first thing we need to do is go up to the display unit and our trigger shifter to put it into adjustment mode. Okay, the first thing we do is we put our uh, system into adjustment mode. So we push and hold the button on the bottom. And that puts it up here so it's lighting up rear and right now it's in the nine position so from there we just use the triggers and we either go um, up one or down one so we'll use this to make small adjustments to the alignment of the uh, rear derailleur with the cog so let's go ahead and go back to the uh, rear derailleur and you can see that moving Okay, so we're going to start with the shifter in uh, at zero on the in the adjustment mode, and the top shifter uh, is out toward the smallest cog, and negative goes toward the largest cog. So um, we're going to look at our alignment and see where we need to go. So looking back from here, and let's zoom in the camera here a little bit. It looks like. It needs to come, it looks like it's rubbing a little bit against the, the seventh cog, so it needs to go out to that direction. So we're going to go put some plus in there, which is the top shifter. Let's put a five and see where that is. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. Looks like it could go just a touch more, the plus. Is the top shifter again so we got it up to eight let's see how that looks eight looks pretty good so let's go ahead and I'll run the drivetrain see we're gonna listen for any many noises and we're gonna run it up and down the shifters let's go back to eight and then we're gonna take it out of adjustment mode and we're gonna start shifting okay it goes up to one sounds pretty good moving two at a time and that feels pretty good one we'll do one at a time okay that's good so my final uh, number for my adjustment ended up being plus eight which it moved it in the direction toward the smallest cog eight clicks to get it to align perfectly with that okay I'm just going to show you the display unit now as I do the adjustment mode so again the button on the, for the adjustment mode is here on the bottom put that on so it, now it says blinking R and it's eight so right now we're in eight so um, to make it go to the plus side you hit the top the top uh, shifter and to go to the negative side, you hit the bottom shifter. So plus is the top, it makes it go toward the smallest cog. And uh, the bottom shifter, which goes to minus, goes toward the largest cog. So um, if we were starting down in zero, and then it goes to minus, if you keep hitting the bottom one, it goes to minus. So we can we shifting up, keep shifting up. We got two, three, and we're starting to get our alignment nice and lined up. We go to six, seven, and we go to eight on the positive side, and that is where we're going to end up. Okay, now we're going to uh, adjust the low side stopper. So. This is the low side um, set screw right here, and as you can see, I got it zoomed in at the set screw what actually meets the derailleur. Now, in the instructions, what they say is to put the um, let me back it up here for a second. Put the chain into the uh, the largest cog, and then adjust the set screw. Adjust the set screw here so that it just touches. The derailleur so we're going to bring that down so where it just touches I can just feel it touch there and I can see the 
see the derailleur move a little bit. So I'll move this back so you can see that. So you can actually see the derailleur move a little bit. Take it down a little bit. So back this up. You can actually see the derailleur move just a little bit. It comes toward me if I tighten it too much. So you want to bring it down so it just just touches and then back it off a little bit. That makes sure that the derailleur can't go uh, past the, the largest cog. And that's the low side. Now we're going to do the high side. Okay, now we are in the high side set screw, which is up here, which is right beside the low seat. There's the low speed set screw. Here's the high speed set screw. We have the cog set into the smallest cog, so for the high side. And we're zoomed in here to the set screws. To the set screw right here you can see it at the back the front one is the low side the one at the back is the high side and we're going to tighten that down so it just touches the the stop there bring that down and it just touches right there so i'm going to bring it back just a touch and that's how you adjust the the high side to bring it down you can actually see it move comes in so we don't want that to I want that to happen when I bring it down until we just see that so let me back it up a little bit you can actually see it move so if I go too much it starts to starts to move the derailleur in and we don't want that we want to keep it perfectly aligned with that last that last smallest cock so we tighten it down until we actually see it and then it starts to move it and we bring it back So just when it just touches that, just touches that set screw in there. So that's what we're looking at right there is that back set screw. So you zoom that anymore very slowly. So we're looking at that back set screw right there. So it'll just barely touch the the metal right there on the uh, on the derailleur. And that's it. So now we've adjusted the high side and the low side.